Welcome. This presentation is designed to offer further information and help with your navigation of the assessment only route. So who are we? At Equalitas, we have successfully trained over 6,000 teachers to gain qualified teacher status. We're recognised as a leading teacher training provider and work within a wide network. We have a long history of tutors training teachers on in-school programmes and our tutors are experienced in teaching, leading and inspecting. Have you considered the assessment only route to qualified teacher status for your staff? If you have experienced teaching staff that have two years teaching experience in British international schools, IB and other experience may be considered, a first degree granted by a United Kingdom higher education institution or an equivalent overseas qualification, if that's the case, then they could be eligible to gain qualified teacher status in just 12 weeks through the assessment only route whilst working at your international school. The route is Ofsted inspected and Department for Education approved. And whilst QTS is typically assessed in person, due to COVID, the DfE are allowing virtual assessments, so it's never been more accessible to support your staff in gaining QTS. What are the entry requirements for the assessment only route? This list allows you to consider the eligibility of your potential candidates. Let's look in more detail at the assessment only process and what might the experience be like for your staff. Initially, there's a pre-enrolment assessment with an Equalitas tutor with an interview to determine suitability, including one classroom observation and meeting with school senior leadership. The Equalitas tutor will review existing evidence and make recommendations. Candidates will be assessed on their suitability to teach and their ability to demonstrate meeting all of the teacher's standards without the need for any further training. Candidates produce a portfolio of evidence to show they meet the teacher's standards. Then there is one full day online assessment, including two classroom observations and meeting with school senior leadership. Upon successful assessment, within 12 weeks, Equalitas can make the recommendation to the DfE that the candidate is awarded QTS. QTS is confirmed by Equalitas and QTS certificates have to be printed by individuals from the UK Government Teacher Portal. Let's review the stages of the assessment only route. We have mentioned eligibility and the criteria that initially needs to be met, but Equalitas staff will provide guidance and support to check a candidate's eligibility via an interview. And we will consider how information from interviews can help to identify and take account applicants' prior experience. All of the compliance documents must be valid and verified. The initial visit, maybe face-to-face -face or remote visit, by a visiting tutor, checks that the portfolio of evidence meets all of the teacher's standards. And this is the point at which the candidate is registered with the Teaching Regulation Agency. A final review visit before recommendation for the QTS assessment will take place. And then assessment. The QTS assessor will collect evidence in school from lesson observations, discussions with the candidate, the mentor and the school senior manager. And a report will be written and a recommendation made for QTS to the Teaching Regulation Agency if the candidate is successful. We know that every candidate's background and experience will be unique. So do please ask any questions and we will be happy to further clarify this process for you. 
Hi, I'm Nidhi Bharadwaj and I'm a candidate for the assessment only route. I have a few questions. What if I have two years experience but only in one school? What constitutes a contrasting school in an international setting? How much evidence do I need? What if I haven't got my GCSE cert math certificate? Must I have a degree in particular subject or discipline? So, in answer to the first question, about your teaching experience. You must have at least two years of teaching experience as an unqualified teacher. This does not include working as a teaching assistant, HLTA or cover supervisor, nor does it include teaching intervention classes or teaching small groups. Your teaching experience must also include the subject and age covered by the assessment for QTS. You also need to have experience and evidence of teaching in at least two schools, and this can include international schools overseas. If you have taught in only one school, you will need to do a short teaching placement in another school for a minimum of four weeks. You must demonstrate that you have had the opportunity in both of your school settings to gain suitable and sustained experience in planning teaching and assessing. Documentary evidence must be available to confirm this. A contrasting school in an international setting may include opportunities to teach pupils from diverse backgrounds, as well as gaining experience of different teaching and learning pedagogies, varying school organisations and distinctive leadership and management approaches. If you haven't got a GCSC math certificate, you can apply to the awarding organisation for a replacement certificate, or you can take an equivalency test. You will need to have your certificate before you apply. Regards the question about having a degree in a particular subject or discipline, legislation does not specify that teachers must have a degree in a particular subject or discipline. It is the teacher's standards that specify the subject knowledge required for the award of QTS. There is no statutory requirement for primary applicants to have a degree in a national curriculum subject, or for a secondary applicant to have a degree in a specified subject. As long as you meet all of the teacher's standards, including those that relate to subject and curriculum knowledge. Check out our website for further facts.